Hello everyone and welcome back to Away, the survival game where we are doing our best. Mom, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Though foxes hunt, <gasps> they are also skilled scavengers, adept at locating and then feeding <gasps> on the decaying carcasses of other animals. All right, welcome back guys. We're here with our mom where we are doing our best to go ahead and try to escape. Oh, there he goes. Try to escape the gaze of the foxes. I have... Go, 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 go. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. Oh, finally, this is the first time I've been able to make it this far. We just need to really rely on our mother. I thought we were strong and an independent little sugar glider, but that is not the truth. We are actually very reliant on our mother and our little sister guiding us right now. Oh, there's the fox. As I try once again not to die to the foxes. Mom, don't leave me. Over time, the dead have become more plentiful than the living, and scavengers have come to dominate the island. There's a rat. But this imbalance cannot last forever. Oh, Eventually, man. Eventually, food will run out for the scavengers as well. The future of life on Earth depends on whether small mammals like the sugar glider can find a way to rebound. Oh, man. I really hope we can make it. Please, Mom, don't leave me. Oh, there we go. Up the tree. Up the tree. Can foxes climb trees? <laughs> I think they can jump really well, but I don't know if they can climb trees super well. All right. I've got to make it over to Mom. A okay. joyous reunion. Together <gasps> once more, the Sugar Glider family enjoys some much-needed rest. Oh, my little sister came to snuggle me. Uh-oh. Mom? No. The vulture returns. It's no. It's sudden, leaving the gliders no time to hide or... <gasps> Mom, no! There is little chance of survival. Uh oh. A sad reality of life on this perilous island. Okay, we're not pierced by the talons just yet. Is my sister with us? No, Mom! Sister! Oh no, this is so sad! Do we have our sister? Is it just us now? This young glider is resilient. More resilient than any of us could have expected. But the loss of his mother and sister has affected <gasps> him deeply. No! Oh, Joey cries out, his unique vocalizations expressing his sorrow, but also sending out a signal to his mother and sister. Wait. He is alive and will be coming for them. Wait, what? You guys, I can't believe that happened. We finally made it past those murderous foxes. It took forever to be able to try to get past them. And now our mom and sister have been taken by the vulture, possibly to her nest. How am I going to get to them? Okay, I've got to stay away from all of the poisonous plants. All right, let's see. There's no time to lose. The longer the glider's mother and sister are in the clutches of the vulture, the lower their chances of survival. I mean, obviously. The Joey bounds forward with a new determination to reunite with his family. I mean, they do have strong social connections, but where am I supposed to... Oh, over there. Okay. A peculiar relationship exists between surviving species like sugar gliders and the fungi native to Savior Island. Oh, yeah? The fungi seems able to influence these animals in ways researchers have yet to fully comprehend. You know, that's another it's time that we've been told about that fungi. The evolutionary process is at play. One that both strengthens these mm. animals physically and heightens their instincts. Researchers have dubbed this phenomenon fungi symbiosis. Fungi and symbiosis. To explore its effects. Okay, well that's really interesting and I would love to know what the fungi can do for me. You guys know I am all about like having a whole bunch of cool mushrooms around the place because I think that they're amazing. But where are we going and why are we coming? I think we're coming this way. Okay. Keep my glide open. There we go. I've been doing short little hops. I need to be- Yeah, look! Okay. All right. Brave little Joey. Brave. Good job! Okay. We've actually made it a lot better than I thought we would. <gasps> okay. Oh, we're so brave, you guys! Okay, careful, careful. Definitely want to try to make some aims between my jumps to make sure we're going in the right direction. Over there. Good job, little sugar glider. Formed when two opposing currents clash. In this case, two low-lying rivers forced together by seismic shifts. This watery obstruction presents a potentially deadly challenge to the sugar glider. Let's see. Oh, what? I have to jump on the whirlpool? 
Okay, that's kind of a little bit chaotic, but I think I can do it. We just have to wait for the log to come back. And then, let's see, over there? Yeah, there, then we have to get up there. Okay, all right. Come on, little Joey, you're already proving yourself to be like an ex excellent little evolutionary adaptive creature. Let's wait for this log right here. All right, come on. He's doing so good, you guys. All right, we're doing okay. Do I need to wait for the other log? Can I make it? Can I make it? A oh, we made it! Amphibians live in these dank caverns, a bona fide feast for our young glider. Okay, we're doing good so far. I don't think we need more food. So that wealth of amphibians, which are like frogs, as you guys know, and possibly salamanders are hanging around here too. This dark cave, see all of the water that's splashing up from this whirlpool? That would create a mist that would be so perfect for those thin-skinned amphibians, like salamanders, who actually breathe through their skin. So they have very, very porous skin. I could see salamanders loving it here. Staying nice and moist like that is how salamanders and frogs are able to stay healthy. All right, so far so good. Oh, I can't believe we made it past the foxes. Like it was taking me forever to figure out. <gasps> Come on, look guy. <gasps> no, I jinxed it. <laughs> I totally 100% jinxed it. Okay, I won't jinx it this time. I'm sorry, little friend. All right, let's get a good sprint going. There we go. All right. Catch our breath for just a second. Ah, better to crash into the rock than to like fall into our doom inside of a like a whirlpool cuz we've got like mom to save, we've got little sis to save. I mean, now unfortunately we have to imagine, ooh, master stamina acquired. Nice. Now we have to imagine like if we are going to try to save our family, the best shot that they possibly have right now is if they've been taken to be fed to a bunch of vulture babies. Then we might be able to do something. Oh, look at this cave. Ooh, little beetles. Can I eat you? There's arachnids. All right. Oh, no, no. You stomp that, you rude thing. Crush your little arachnidian legs. Meanwhile, I want to eat this beetle. Oh, it disappeared. Hey, you, come back. I don't like the fact that spiders, apparently... Oh, well, that was my lunch. <laughs> it has now disappeared. These mushrooms are not edible. All right, I need to be a little more careful. Also, did I hear something, like, large jumping around in here? Because that makes me a little nervous. Oh, it's that guy again. <gasps> oh, they're being chased by spiders. What? Not good. There's a whole bunch of arachnids all over the place. At least they're kind of weak, so I can attack them if I'm careful about it. But yeah, those are salamanders, or newts at least. And the bioluminescence is still definitely a thing. Oh, it's so pretty here. Whoa! Okay, so this is definitely an arachnid zone. This would be perfect for them. I mean, without birds and some of the other natural predators of these spiders. And in a dank, dark cave like this. Oh, butterfly! Oh, I can't bring myself to kill that butterfly. Eee! What the heck? Okay, I can bring myself to kill those spiders, though. Jeez, I'm having to use so much energy just to be able to fight off these spiders. All right, come on, Mom. Oh, no, a snake! Scarlet King Snake. This Scarlet King Snake! This but still dangerous to our Joey. One of its favorite foods are small mammals like sugar gliders. Okay. And Joey will have to battle his way past it. What? Okay, all right. So you want to fight, huh? You want to scrap? No! Snake is stronger! Okay. Okay, keep dodging until the snake is stunned, apparently. What just happened to me? Oh no, you guys! The snake has thrown me! <laughs> The snake threw me behind this rock. I think I'm stuck. Oh, oh, good grief. I thought we actually were going to be, like, stuck forever. End of our Joe's story for a second. All right. We need to keep dodging until the snake is stunned, huh? Ooh, okay. The snake's really close to me. All right, so far so good. 
All right, I have to stun it. Maybe I just need to come over and like... No, it got me again! Jeez! All right, well, it's non-venomous, so... At least I've got that going for me. But we'll try dodging it some more. All right, come on. Do I need to smack it? Aim. Dang it! Oh, I thought we were getting close. All right, all right. Okay, it bit me that time. Wait for it. Boy, I hope you guys aren't afraid of... Okay, got the snake that time. Woo, he almost got me! Okay, it's gonna start striking a little faster. An impressive victory for our little <gasps> Oh, child. we did it, you guys! That wasn't so hard. I just had to be a little more strategic about it. Yeah, get out of here, sneak. Can I eat you? I should be able to eat you. Oh, well. We'll carry on! <laughs> And it's been so fun to learn more about sugar gliders while we've been doing this, you guys. Apparently, they're actually fantastic pollinators. Did you guys know that? They eat so much nectar from... Oh. The of the bowels of the what? Earth sends rocks and streams of water pouring into the gulch. Uh-oh. This glider must use all his skills to quickly reach the ground level before the rising water does. Okay, okay, no time to talk about how amazing the sugar gliders are at, poll at being pollinators. Okay, okay, ooh, okay. Oh boy, I hope we have enough energy for this. I really hope we have enough energy for this. Go, little guy, go, 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 go. We're almost there. Phew! Is that high enough? Maybe? Oh, thank goodness. Jeez, it's a rough life for this little one. The vulture! Mom! The glider has managed to track down his flying nemesis. His mother and sister still dangling helplessly from its talons. Time is of the essence. The glider can only hope that his family lives and that somehow he can find a way to rescue them. All right, all right. Steaming gullies, floods, lots of things happening. But I'm going to be able to find my way back to mom. And little sis. This is how we start establishing strong familial, like, groups. That will hopefully evolve one day into a whole new society. Also, I don't like the look of that. Okay, that's a butterfly? Okay, I like the look of the butterfly. I thought it was like a crow or something, so I was a little worried. Alright, we've got to be careful. There's a bunch of crows here. Can I? Oh, I can crawl kind of inside that hole for just a second. Okay, Evidence of human beings, relics like these mm. of some of our failed attempts at salvation, are scattered across the island. Okay. Human beings made countless attempts to maintain a presence on Earth. Sadly, those attempts ended in disaster. The sugar glider appears tiny and fragile next to these remnants of a once advanced and sophisticated civilization. And yet, he has accomplished something in his persistence on Earth that none of us could. Wow. Okay, so we'll go around. I think. Okay, I think this is the, the way to mom. Yeah, look at that. More relics. So I guess there's evidence of... Oh, I really wanted to get that. I wanted to eat it. That's okay. I'll stick to mushrooms. I wish we could drink some nectar too, because nectar is one of a sugar lighter's like, favorite things to eat. So I would think that that would be really good for him. All right. I really want to eat that butterfly. All right, well, let's keep going. As much as I want to spend time exploring and being on our own, I'm worried about mom and sis. And I think I'm gonna to need to eat in order to regain my stamina, maybe? What is that? Oh, a giant gully. Yeah, I might need to eat in order to regain my stamina so that we can carry on possibly down that path. It's like follow the trail of destruction. Is that a treehouse in the distance? It's really hard to tell. I'm just a little sugar glider. Oh my goodness. But all right guys, well we're making our way. It looks like the crows aren't trying to eat us. 
And, oh, mushroom! No, it's just a flower. And we're slowly regaining some of our stamina, so I need- I think I need to look around, maybe see if I can find something to eat. Probably all those beautiful butterflies dancing overhead. And then we will carry on with doing our best to try to go rescue our mom and sister. I really- like I said earlier, and a lot of you guys got excited about this idea, now it may, makes me really want to go ahead and try playing Spore and kind of seeing like where our adventures might be able to take us. I think I'm going backwards actually. Yeah, maybe that's the nest. Oh, there's the there's the vulture. I was going backwards. You guys. All right, it makes me want to try to play Spore so we can see how Sugar Glider society might develop. But there's the vulture. Okay, so we're going to sneak up on that guy, hopefully. I don't know how we're going to rescue our family. Maybe I can just bite him really hard on the back of the neck. And we're going to rescue our Sugar Glider family next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our brave little Sugar Glider and the advancement of his little society. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.